Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to tell you why I'm buying more Accenture stock. And I say more because I bought some stock back in 2021, made a video about it, put it on this channel, and today I'm buying more. Coming back for that second helping. Accenture is a global consulting leader. Let's talk about their core operation. Accenture trades on the New York Stock Exchange with the ticker ACN, and they operate as one of the largest consulting form firms worldwide, guys, assisting in businesses in addressing complex challenges across all kinds of industries. The company is highly regarded for cultivating long-term relationships, not only with their clients, but also their employees, which are central. Relationships are central to Accenture's success. I love a company that puts people first. Let's look at their strategic approach. Accenture utilizes these strong re relationships to maintain that competitive edge in consulting, technology, operations, company consistently provides critical support to its clients, which is helping them navigate evolving business landscapes. And it's just absolutely incredible what this company does. Uh, and when we measure Accenture success, it's a little bit different than other companies I've bought into. You've got your traditional financial metrics, you know, like revenue growth. Revenue growth is a primary indicator, of course, of Accenture's financial health as well as any other company. Their earnings growth is closely monitored to assess the company's profitability. But what's unique to Accenture, because I feel like these are almost more important for this company specifically, Accenture's advice to clients is a leading indicator of future business growth. Their product, the productivity of their employees, how many employees are currently servicing clients as measured by their utilization rate is crucial for maintaining its consulting leadership. Their annualized attrition rates are tracked to understand employee retention and its impact on business continuity. These metrics are some of the most important ones when looking at Accenture specifically. So let's talk about their current strengths and the current opportunities because the landscape has changed since I bought this company back in 2021. Coming back again, again, uh, again for a second helping, let's talk about why I'm buying again today. First of all, they have been resilient in adverse conditions. Accenture has dem demonstrated significant resilience even during a downturn in enterprise spending. The company's involvement in generative artificial intelligence, or Gen AI, has been a stabilizing factor, enabling it to maintain momentum in a challenging consulting environment. Their role in AI transformation is, has blown up since 2021 when I first started, uh, or when I first invested in them. Centra now is a key partner for businesses that are undertaking large scale AI transformations, solidifying its position in the market. I love it because they're making money on AI, not tomorrow, but they're making money today. These projects are long-term in nature, but they provide immediate benefits through cash flow generation and the strengthening of client relationships. So their role in AI generation, massive. Also, some financial achievements on the next level. Accenture secured nearly a billion dollars in Gen A bookings last quarter. That's insane. Total bookings surpassed $2 billion for 2024. Despite a slowdown, Accenture continues to grow its revenue way faster than its competitors, which indicates to me strong market positioning. The company is not only growing its revenue, but it's also expanding its operating margins and increasing free cash flow, which directly benefits shareholders through dividends and share buybacks. Notably, Accenture's dividend increased by, get this guys, 15% year over year reflecting its commitment to returning value to its investors. I love this company, guys, and I, I had to. After looking over this company and, and reading through a lot of research, I had to get another slice of this company. Now, 
there are some risks, there are some things to consider in these videos. I always want to, to give you these so that you have all the information in front of you. So first of all, they have an aggressive acquisition strategy. Some people might look at that as a positive. Accenture has ramped up its acqu acquisition activities. They made 12 acquisitions in last quarter alone, primarily to enhance their AI capabilities, but still, that's insane. Company has spent over $5 billion on acquisitions this year, doubling the 2.5 billion spent in 2023, and we're just in August. And of course, that's got to raise some questions about the sustainability and integration of these acquisitions. So that's number one is their acquisition buyback, buying is absolutely it's crazy, it's insane. There's also some potential vulnerabilities. The Center's heavy investment in AI related technologies poses a risk if there's a decline in client spending on technology and AI. I don't see that happening, but it's a potential vulnerability. So investors need to monitor trends in tech infrastructure investments by large corporations as these are going to be key indicators of Accenture's short-term revenue growth prospects. Okay, let's look at their position right now because I think they're very strategically positioned for the future. First of all, they're a leader in AI-driven consulting, right? Accenture's bold investments in Gen AI have positioned it as a leader in the tech-driven consulting space, ensuring its relevance and competitive advantage in a rapidly evolving industry. And they reward their investors. We already talked about it, but the potential gains. The company continues to reward investors with growing dividends, significant share repurchases, and the potential for capital gains as its strategic investments in AI and technology come to fruition over the long term. So, who is Accenture for, right? Accenture is suited for those investors who are looking for a combination of stable dividend income and potential capital gains driven by growing net income and strategic share repurchases. It also appeals to investors who want to capitalize on the expanding role of artificial intelligence in business transformations. Now. Not, Accenture isn't for everyone, right? It, it may not be ideal for investors that are seeking a more of a value investment or maybe those that are focused on disruptive innovation. Accenture isn't really gonna give you either one of those. It's not a value stock and it's not really innovating. It's more servicing the companies that are innovating. Company is also maybe less suitable for those that are looking for businesses in a hyper growth stage because this isn't a big uh, growth stock. The reason I'm buying uh, Accenture is really to balance my portfolio because it, it is a little bit more of a cautious buy, but it's safer, I think. Accenture's growth is more measured and focused on long-term stability instead of short-term hyper growth. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, guys, um, that's why I bought Accenture, but I'm, I'm curious to know what you're thinking about this company. So if you're buying some, leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all are doing. Maybe you're selling, holding, wherever you're at. Maybe you're just watching from the sidelines, seeing if you want to jump in or seeing what everyone else is doing. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, guys. It really helps out the channel and subscribe. I make a video like this every single week because I buy a stock every single week and I make a video explaining why I bought that stock. But throughout the week, I'm posting all kinds of videos. I try to post a video every single day so that y'all have all kinds of insight from across the market, even on stocks that I don't currently own. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope y'all have an awesome day and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace.